off um, goal. Yeah, like, uh, it's so much work, and, like, I think we're best off saving it for when we actually know we can use it. Yeah. Although I would love to teach Lucario Thunder Punch in preparation for Cyrus's bird. <laughs> right. Yeah, Cyrus' bird is, I think, uh, more than a bit. Immensely, in fact. Because we don't really have any good, like, bird counters. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> yeah, dark flying is not like a typing we really have an out to, unless flying is weak to ice. It is. Flying is weak to ice. Well, I sure wish we had a fucking ice Pokemon with a good ice move. <laughs> like, Jack is an interesting last minute addition to the party, but who oh boy, he does not have a freaking good ice move. A little unfortunate. Ice is one of those typing that needs a huge boost, like, now. Yeah, like, it's not even the problem of not having an ice move, it's the fact that it's ice- it's the fact that Jack's ice move is Icy Wind, which is a 55 power special move <laughs> on a physical attacker. Just some little physical special remnants hanging around there. Yeah, stupid. All right, welcome everyone back <laughs> to the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. <laughs> You've been hearing us discussing strategy for the last, what, minutes? Minutes and a half? Something like that, I assume. Well, let's just get into it then. We've got a lot to do today. Quite a bit of ground to cover. Now, let's just do a recap of the team. Uh, I've raised the average le I've raised the level of all the Pokemon up to 43, except for Puppy and Hems who are beyond that. I don't quite remember. Uh, isn't Volkner like 52, maybe? Uh, I'll check Volkner. He's either it's 52 been a hot or 48. minute. We don't have all the levels on lock. God. Yeah. So here's Jack. Unfortunately, Icy Wind is awful. Fucking special attack. Ugh. On a physical Wolf is 50. Okay, so we've got five levels left on him. Ugh. See, the problem is, our team's actually kinda piss weak when it comes to dealing with. Like, our ace is him, and him just does not do well against Team Galactic in a lot of cases. Ooh. Because Team Galactic regularly fields dark types. Yeah, not not ideal for us. Yeah, talking about some other nonsense, we have Jack the Weavile, who knows Slash and Night Slash, which are super good. And Icy Wind, which is less good. He has the black glasses, because the Razor Claw got consumed when he evolved. Otherwise, I would have just kept the Razor Claw. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's fair. Because with the Razor Claw, plus Night Slash, that would have been a 1 in 4 crit chance. Ooh, could have had it all. We could have. Hemp's is, of course, uh, ridiculous. Between Calm Mind, Double Team, Psychic, and Magical Leaf, with a frickin' 133 special attack. <laughs> which uh, is absurd, because Jack here has 115. <laughs> Next up, we have Sonic. He's in the video game. <laughs> he has Fly, Confuse Ray, Poison Fang, and Bite. Poison Fang. I gotta be honest, it's not that great at this point in the game, but it's the first directly offensive poison type move we've had all game. Yeah, and like, it'll do its job. Yeah. He also knows Bite, which is alright. Now we have Cupcake, and I gotta be honest, Altaria's learn set kinda sucks if you're trying to take advantage of Dragon Dance. Just a bit, yeah. It's... I think this is also a physical special, like, remnant. Yeah, because Cupcake is a balanced attacker, but Dragon Dance only boosts physical attack. And unfortunately, Cupcake doesn't learn any physical dragon moves naturally. The only thing Cupcake can learn is Dragon Claw, which isn't bad, but you can only get it after Mount Coronet. Ooh. Also, I had a thought. But how about instead of takedown, why don't we just teach Cupcake Fly? Um, yeah, 
not, because at least you'll get, like, the stab from Fly. It doesn't have recoil. Yeah, same, yeah, same power, stab, no recoil, uh, better accuracy. The only, the only downside is that uh, it takes two turns, but since you're invincible for one, it's a really good trade-off. Yeah, like, it's a downside, kind of, but it's also, it comes packaged with an upside. Yeah, and now Gastrodon. Also an interesting Ooh. choice. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a we don't have our starter anymore, so we can't learn Hydro Blast or anything. You know, Goops is here. Goops, yeah. Our good friend Goops. Goops has perhaps the most average stat line of the whole party, being consistently like this is an incredibly average stat line, but it is a lot of health, which basically means Goops is our tank, especially since Water Ground is a fairly resilient typing overall. Water ground is so fucking good. Yeah, Surf, Dig, Body Slam, and Mud Slap. Which is coverage, coverage... Yeah, coverage, coverage, paralysis, accuracy. And finally, we have Puppy. With a 122 normal attack and 114 special with 111 speed. This guy will sweep or he will die. <laughs> And boy golly, I hope we don't lose another sweeper. Yeah. Aura Sphere, Quick Attack, Force Palm, and Swords Dance. Like, obviously, Swords Dance is absurd. The problem is, it's basically restricted to Quick Attack and Force Palm, since Aura Sphere, very powerful move, special type. Mm. And obviously, we need to get rid of Quick Attack. Ugh. Now, ideally, I would teach. I would teach Pubby Thunder Punch or Ice Punch right now. Probably Thunder Punch just for coverage, but... Unfortunately, we don't quite have enough shards since we need six of these blue ones to do that. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Also, shout out to the move Fling. <laughs> Fling is lovely. Fling is the best. Yeah, Jack could have learned it, but it's a single-use attack whose power is completely dependent on whatever the hell the item is. And the best I and the strongest item you can give is the heavy ball, which halves your base speed. <laughs> Just fucking throw shit at people. Yeah, which is perhaps a bit much. Although funnily enough, if we ever get fleeing in the next game, we'll probably keep it because uh for some ungodly reason. Wait, no, not in the next game. Were TRs only introduced in Gen 8? Yeah, TRs are a unique Gen 8 thing, presumably to give a compromise on people who wanted one-use TMs back. I don't know why you'd want one-use TMs back, but okay. Like, I kind of get where people are coming from, because it was a little abusable in black and white just because it would refill your PP. Uh, but then they fix that. Um... And I, I fucking hate having to grind for TMs. Yeah, like... God, we've gone through so much cash getting some more TMs in this game, it's ridiculous. It fucking sucks. Yeah. But no, I was looking at Fling earlier, and apparently, for some ungodly reason, they didn't code fl They didn't code TRs properly to interact with Fling. <laughs> so you know what they do? Oh boy, what do they do? Fling inherits the base attack power of the TR that the uh, that the Pokemon is holding. Oh. Which means that... instead, which means you can get moves that are just as powerful as using the Heavy Ball without the inherent downside of using the Heavy Ball. That's a little silly, funny that. Even better, if you have one of the items that boosts the power of certain type moves. They apply to the TR fling. God. Which is absurd. Alright, so now we have a conundrum. We've got this whole team set up, but now we need to go up Mount Coronet, which means we need to replace someone with, I believe, Dubin Smart, maybe? You should be able to learn Rock Smash and Strength. Yeah, I think so. So the question is, who do we get rid of? I'm gonna say either... Either Crobat or Altaria, 
Sonic or Cupcake. Because yeah. flying types aren't going to be that good in a mountain. So the question is, do we want do we want a physically based sweeper with good po do we want a physically based sweeper with, you know, poison moves? Or do we want a decently tanky bird with dragon type moves? That's I I'd say let Cupcake take the lead for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Cupcake's Sonics. been playing so Cupcake has been playing second fiddle with Sonic for a while now. <laughs> anyway, we've already spent our Mount Coronet capture, so I guess we'll just get into it. Just power through it. Let me just shut let me just shun Doof and Smirt to the back of the line to make sure he never ever gets pulled. <laughs> and now let's teach him everything. Yeah, he's gonna need to learn, like, a shit ton of TMs. Wait, Doof- Oog. But Doof can't learn strength? That- I- I- Do you still have that Machop? Because I guess that Machop is gonna have to do it. I mean, yeah, but- Eh, that's weird. But Doof- I- Gets its- Notoriety for being an HM Pokemon. I think mainly because it can learn, like, all the water moves. I mean, that makes sense, because it's like a beaver, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so instead we're gonna let Ringo... Alright, oh, I guess Ringo was the guy we had slotted for this initially, I just forgot about that. <laughs> Alright. God, what's the last... Oh, right, the last HM is Waterfall. Yeah... Well, you're only gonna need it for Victory Road. Um, that's what Doof and Schmerz for. To be fair, Goops can probably also learn Waterfall. Yeah, but like, the problem is, do we want Goops to learn Waterfall? Because, because Waterfall, I believe, is the physical counterpart to Surf. Yeah. And, like Goops, Goops is pretty balanced overall, but it feels a little excessive to have two of those. That's fair. Alright. Oh, right, I should probably change who's in front. Alright, so here's the thing. I think we're still best off letting Himps lead, because Himps has a Grass-type move. And yeah. not to mention, it's not like we're gonna be able to use Himps, like, at all once we actually get to the top of Coronet. Oh, mm-mm. Dark-types. Nope. Dark-types everywhere. The only Dark-types up in here. Yeah. So, is this the best- is this the best entrance to get to the top of Coronet? I think this is the one they want you to use, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Oh yeah, what's up this rock wall? Yeah, you got rock climb now. The- the fucking worst HM. I hate rock climb. It's not great. Post game heart gold till silver is fucking full of these rock climb walls, and as a kid, I never found the HM for it. Ooh. God, shout to. We just got the psychic TM, babe. <laughs> That's so useful. It's so cool and good. God, I wish we'd actually gotten to use the honey trees more than once in this run. It would have been cool. Too bad the honey trees uh, suck to use. They're a, a bit annoying. At best. Alright, we don't actually have like a wild amount of repels on us. Oh. Should, should be fine. We still got over a thousand steps. So probably yeah. just straight north then? I think so, because I believe strength was what was gatekeeping you from this. Probably. Oh my god, it's foggy. Yeah, you also need defog for this one floor. Um, Wait, can you literally not progress without defog? You don't- no, it's not required, it's just gonna be annoying. Well, guess what? Pubby knows Aura Sphere. <laughs> and you know what that means. We don't gotta give a shit about fog. Alright, there's a shard. We need blue ones, though. 
Yeah. Well, you know, you've got shards on hand, just in case. Yeah. What an interesting area. Wait, is this the way? Because wasn't this the path we took to get to the ice zone? Um, was it? I'm pretty sure this was the path, because I remember thinking... Huh. If it is, then I straight up don't remember. Because I thought you only got... Hmm, hang on. I mean, we'll check. If we end up getting dumped out, like, we've still got repels. Let's check, and like, worst case scenario, we'll try it from Orber Gate instead. Not to mention we're getting stuff for this. Yeah, we've got silly fun items here. God, thank you, Ringo. Ringo's Ringo. <laughs> Ringo from that hit band. Ringo from that one movie. <laughs> oh wait, was that Rango? No, I think it was, I think that movie stars uh, Ringo from that one band. <laughs> of course. Uh, wait, isn't this the freaking? I know what this is. Isn't this the fucking Phoebus Lake? This might be the Phoebus Lake. <laughs> I can't remember if it's this or if there's another big pool. I'm like 80% sure this is the Phoebus Lake, which is very funny to me. <laughs> Fucking Phoebus. I love that they make Phoebus a, just a bitch to catch in every generation. Yeah, like they make them a lot of pretty easy to catch in Gen 8, but yeah, yeah, that's what I oh, thought. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, we probably need to go from Orber Gate then. Whoopsie doodle. I haven't played this section of Platinum in like three years. No one has. Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's go through Coronet from Heart Home, I guess then. Because I'm pretty sure that upper area is used for the shortcut out of Coronet. Hmm. Shout out to the least convenient town with this thing. <laughs> this church! Like the fact that there's no music! It is. It's weirdly eerie. I don't understand the church. It's menacing, and like it's such a unique model, and you expect things to happen there, and then nothing ever does. Like. That church is pretty much the only sign of, like, an organized religion in Pokemon, right? Yeah... It's so... weird and kooky. <laughs> oh, hey, so look! Silly. It's where we caught... Oh... It's where we caught Himst! It is! Himst in the wild! Alright. Yeah, now it's time for us to be lost, because all we know is that we need to go to the top of Coronet. <laughs> yeah, they... I just... they did not tell us which way to enter Coronet from. I mean, there's a rock climb wall here, which implies we want to fight this guy. Mm. And there is a secret item up there. Whatever it is. Let's check Fuck it out. It, we're adventuring. We're adventuring. He's a hiker. There's like no way. To, there's no way he's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> he he all he has he has a full team of gravelers, but only no explosion. The Echo Man. I think it'd be immensely funny if he had an exact duplicate of our team for that. <laughs> you. Now die! Oh right, I need to turn battle scene on. <laughs> Fucking Probo Pass. Why on it? What is Probo Pass week to? Because it's obviously not grass. Probo Pass is, I believe, steel at least, maybe rock. Rock steel. Oh, and now Hims cannot escape. Whoopie doo. Oh, it's it's a sandstorm stall strat. 
<laughs> yep. I love Prova Pass. Ah, should've switched should have switched to our good friend, Pubby. <laughs> Oof, ow, ouchie, rock side of all things. Jerk. Oh wait, right, him says Trace, not Miracle Cure. Or natural cure. Yeah. God, remember that one move Hims could have learned, which literally was just, oh yeah, Hims dies. So fucking uh, what? Wish, not wish. The other one. Something like that. <laughs> Drop dead right now. Yeah. Sounds like it. All right, come on. There's a secret item up here somewhere. <laughs> you came up here for the joys of seeing the Echo Man. Okay, two down. Ah, right oh, there. Oh, it's on the wall. Yeah. Well, it's an annoying fight, but a star piece is pretty good money. Yeah, you're funding your TM uh, spending. I say, as if we have any useful TMs we can buy at this point. You never know. Like, we're pretty much just using Fire Blast for coverage. <laughs> Wait. Do I have a Thunder TM? Or can you buy Ooh. Thunder from that place? Because that would be good. I think so. That would be good coverage. That's a thing you can do. Yeah, Thunder. Who can we even give this to? Probably Hempst? No, no one can learn hmm. Thunder. I swear Guard of War can learn Thunder in later gens. Well, they can't... Well, she can't learn it now, so I guess if we... So, I guess we'll just have to check some other Pokémon to see if we can have electric coverage. Yeah. We probably can't. I mean, we've got an opportunity for Jolteon. We do. Also, that is not a dark blue. Or a deep no, blue. No, the game's lying to you on that one. The protein's more likely to be deep blue. But yeah, we need to do Orber Gate because... That, for some reason. Right. I I feel like as a child I would get very lost for a very long time. Yeah, but anyway, speaking reasonably, we've already used our encounter from Mount Coronet earlier, so it's not like we can do anything with this. Which is yeah, unfortunate. We're just running through here. Yeah. Cause reasonably speaking, we probably could catch like a mid forties nose pass or something. Or at least a bronze up. Well, no, because we already have tarnished. And you... And I don't need to tap the sign. There will be no doubles in this Nuzlocke. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, we're at 207. Oh, you're at the top of this. Oh, interesting. I guess we could, like, skip the decent... I mean, let's check. Let's check. I think there might just be an item down here. This is probably, yeah, just item zone USA. Ah, uh, just an iron. It's not good. I mean, it's okay, because vitamins are expensive, but, you know. <laughs> God, shout out to the fact that a uh, puppy wants to learn Metal Claw. Ooh. Oh, someone wanted to learn Metal Claw. It might have been fucking Jack. Fucked <laughs> up an evil. Ah, uh, that, that was our last super repel, so now we just gotta go through our six basics this time. God, the Gen 5 asking you if you just want to use another repel. Oh, the quality of life. Oh, CM80 Rock Slide. Oh, that's not bad. Man.
Oh no, they destroyed... Oh no! Oh no, they appear to have destroyed pillars or something. <laughs> How, could Team Galact How could Team Galactic do this? <laughs> They've gone too far this time. Alright, there has. No, well, it's just a silly, funny area. I guess. But yeah, like... Oh! Looker! It's, it's there so Looker has ample room to run up. Observe, if you will, that hole. There was once a cave painting that had blocked the way to the summit. How many times did they just have random cave paintings blocking stuff? Because they did that in Golub, too. They did this in Pokemon Ranger. Uh, uh, Guardian Sign specifically has a scene that's almost identical to this. Does that mean that the painting in Celestic Town secretly holds something too? <laughs> you know what? We should take a sledgehammer to it and find out. Yeah. God. Are you trainer enough to advance? <laughs> All right, Looker. The Black Flute. Interesting. So, I know you need to use a flute in order to... Well, definitely a key item. I know you need to use a flute in order to... I don't think it is. I think it's just an item. I think it's just a rare one. Huh. All right, let's see what it does. Black Flute. Oh, hell yeah. It's baby's first repel. <laughs> That's kind of fun. All natural repel. I think we also have the white flute, or like the one that does the exact opposite. Yeah, we did get a white flute. Oh, that's kind of fun. Not sure how much use we'll get out of it when we could just use repels instead, but, you know, it's fun. <laughs> it's for lore reasons. Yeah, it's for the Lorg, because we gotta combine the flutes in order to summon Arceus or something. <laughs> Alright, so here's the thing, we don't actually want to- we don't want him going up against plot galactic grunts. Mm-mm. So, Puppy, do your stuff. <laughs> Kazoontite. I'm dying. You are. I've got it. I've got that disease all the Victorian maidens have. Consumption. I thought it was asbestos. <laughs> all right, battle scene is back on. God. So, fun fact, I do actually prefer to do grinding off-stream, because I've got a personal rule about this kind of run, and it's basically, off-stream grinding doesn't have the death rule. It's fair. Because, quite frankly, it would take forever if I had to observe that rule while grinding up level 30s, you know? Yeah, grinding um, is usually a brain-off time for me, too, unless, I, unless the run needs to be ch more challenging. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a bird. <laughs> hey, puppy. Come on out, do your thing. Oof, ow, ouchie, assurance. It's not assurance. Like, I know he's a bird, but since dark... But he... <laughs> Birds are... Murkrow and Honchko are neutral since dark is weak to fighting, right? Yeah, I think it does balance out. Woo. Welcome to Mount Coronet. The top this time. Yippee! Okay, like, we could go up the rock climb wall, but what's this cave? Yeah. I, I do legitimately love the Mount Coronet climb. I think it's a good, like, capstone to what the game's put you through so far. I assume we need water- I assume we actually need Waterfall to find out a big secret for this area. Yeah, presumably. 
All right, we're gonna get a lot of use out of that black flute since I never actually stocked up. <laughs> you know, somehow I don't think I should be, like, feeding my Pokemon heal powder, you know? <laughs> I feel like that may... maybe... unadvisable. Hey, Yellow Shard. It's still not the kind we need. But, you know, you got the shards. Alright, so that was just for items, because we can't take the waterfall shortcut without waterfall. Why does the electric gym give you a waterfall of all things? Because... both are... tired. Ah, uh, of course. Lots of cash, I guess. <laughs> You're gonna be set for life after you take out these criminals. God, who decided the platinum track should slap? God, the, it, it, Gen 4 has a real distinctive sound to it. Like, I can spot a Gen 4 song, like, immediately, because of they just- it's so... Oh nice, a blue shard. Whatever sound font they're using for this, you can immediately spot it, instantly. So this is Mount Coronet. This is still Mount Coronet, so it doesn't matter. You might be able to use Pinwheel Claws if you desperately want, because I'm sure there's different encounter tables. Ah! Uh, right, yeah, because the last one was still in like a level 17 for some reason. Like, I can check it if you want. Yeah, check it. If it's like a 30 level difference, then we'll enforce Pinwheel Claws. Uh, 37 in comparison to before. Do we want to enact Pinwheel Claws for Nell's Pass? Yeah, sure, fuck it. Yeah, like, odds are we probably won't use them, but hey, might as well. <laughs> We're gonna have a funny little Nose Pass on our team. That's all that matters. Yeah. The Compass Pokemon. <laughs> it always points north. Ah, uh, God, what's the name of the North Star again? Polaris? Polaris, yeah. Where am I going? The S was right there. <laughs> Alright, well now I have Polaris, the Pokemon. Alright, Halmjur! Oh, that's an oh, interesting one. Ugh. That's also kind of a sketchy one, since it's a fire type. <laughs> not ideal for us, no. Like, it's not Hound Doom, so it is still like the baby variant, but still. Let's play it safe with Puppy, because if he dies, we're gonna have a real problem. Yep. Ooh, oh no, Embargo. Can't use items anymore, babe! Oh no, our soft sand when we're using a water type move. <laughs> Oof, ow, ouchie, faint attack. Gulbat! So we funny that. Alright, who do we wanna send? I mean him to can definitely just rock this bat to the next dimension. But Golbat almost certainly knows a dark type move. Probably. Oh well. It's Golbat versus him, so let's see how it goes. Outsped. A Hims to the monster. Absolutely. Hims is genuinely- I think Hims is genuinely our second fastest Pokémon after Sonic. No, uh, 111, 92... No, Hims is our <laughs> third fastest, apparently. It's a 
interesting. We do have a lot of speedy Pokemon on the team. Yeah, this is like a very sweep heavy composition. Which, you know, good in some ways, terrible in others. We've got a lot of, like, Nuzlocke staples on this team, which I find very fun. Yeah, it truly is unfortunate we didn't have some- we couldn't keep some more better Pokémon, but hey. <laughs> you know, we're still here, we're still pushing through. So what would you say are the Nuzlocke staples for this game? Um, like Lucario for sure. <laughs> You usually see a Golbat or like a Crobat somewhere on the team just because they're so common. Um, Shanks is one, but they also usually die. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're very fragile. Incredibly. Alright. Oh, oh, hey, Metasham. <laughs> it's you. It's, it's the Metacham. I mean, definitely a better grinding area once when I actually feel like it, but who boy. Yeah, this will probably at least get you close to Volkner's level, especially with the route before him. Alright, welcome to this part of Coronet, where now we want to go exterior. down, because up there is like nothing. I think I want to go left, although that might just be for an item. No, yeah, going up was for an item. <laughs> God, this area looks good. Yeah. The power of the Nintendo DS. No other system's gonna look like this. Like, the, the way the 3D looks on the DS is so good. Yeah. Alright, probably this cave then? Because now we gotta start using the black flute. Eventually. <laughs> you know, once you get to it. Wild Pokemon will be repelled. So is that just like a free repel? I think so. I'd imagine it has, like, uses maybe? I have never used this item. I imagine it just dramatically reduces the encounter rate. Presumably. Alright. Alright, Houndjur. Oof, ow, ouchie, faint attack. Embargo? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Babe, you can't use items! Babe, however will we live against Glamiel? We're gonna fucking die! Yeah, like, honestly, Puppy's probably our best solution to Honchcrow, just because neutral to flying, resistant to dark. Mm. And the Honchcrow is gonna be neutral to fighting because of how all that works out. Is fighting yeah. strong against fighting, or is it fight? Like, it doesn't matter, but still. Don't super feel like fighting wild encounters right now. There. Switch to him. Let me think. So we're gonna have we're gonna be forced into a double battle once we get to the top between with us and Nolan. Yeah, us and Nolan, I believe, against Jupiter and Mars. Interesting. In that case, who do we lead with for that? Oh, um, hey. Oh, hey, Bronzong. Howdy, Bronzong. Someone... Because I don't know what they're going to lead with is the, the issue. Yeah. Like, obviously, they're not gonna lead with their aces. <laughs> Oof, ow, ouchie, air cutter. Oog. God, it's a good thing we have an Aether. 
Yeah, trying to get your team to full health for the Mount Coronet fights is a fucking nightmare. Not to mention, don't we immediately go into Si- Do we immediately go into Cyrus, or is that happening later? Um... I believe it's the double battle, and then it's Distortion World in which you fight Cyrus at the end. Ah, right. Because I, I, at least I think he doesn't fight you twice in this section. It would be very rude if he did. The, the thing is, is that I also think he might, so I'm gonna check. I mean, Cyrus is like that. Nope, only Distortion World. I am melding diamond to platinum memories. Alright then. I need to buy more freaking Moo Moo milk later. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna make a guess and say we should go in with Luca with Tubby. Probably. Oh, right. Well, but first off. But first off, we gotta deal with these clowns. We do. Uh, Orsu, Stunky, Psychic, Crow Gunk. No, no, I don't... Okay, well, actually, you should be fine. I was getting nervous for... <laughs> yeah, like, neither of those Pokémon really has anything amazing. Yeah, because Crow Gunk does no dark moves, but they're typically not strong enough to do more than, like, a third of Pimps' health. Fair. Yeah, Sucker Punch is not that strong. <laughs> Which is good! Which is good! Keep throwing weak Pokémon at us! Alright, so let's top up again. We need a heal on Hims, and I also need to push- and I also need to feed Hims an Ether at this point. Oh, Lou in the chat! Oh, hey Lou! What crimes will she commit? Lots of them. <laughs> but yeah, as always, feel free to hop in the call. Yeah, I'm gonna lead with Puppy, but I'm going to sw I'm going to be careful. I don't think it'll come to pass, but I'm going to switch Goops and Himps on the team comp. Just because. Alright. Boss fight number one. Hang on. I can't... I cannot see the video game. Oh, there we go. Alright. Oh, hey, Nolan. Hey, Lou. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How's your day been? I'm sleepy, but I have work later. Yeah. Oof. Truly. Pain. Alright, double bronze ore. <laughs> Not the best, not the worst. The easily a manageable opening act. You know what? I should have used Swords Dance, actually. The, yeah, this might be where Setup Puppy comes in. Oh, definitely. Oh, an old Gubby stockpiling. This is isn't gonna do jack shit. He's just gonna be there for a hot minute. <laughs> I'm thinking two sword stances and should just be able to force palm through everything. Hopefully. You know, this Munchlax is tanking hits. This I mean, Munchlax is drawing fire. He is. Yeah, Bronzor is not a defense. Bronzor is not a combat type, which is good. <laughs> God. All that just to heal for the damage he already did. Ooh. The setup is doing a lot for us. <laughs> and there he goes again. Uh... There he is! 
Yeah. All right. This AI is kind of good when he's not with Munchlax. All right, here's the question. <laughs> Don't. Sometimes. I'm gonna check Munchlax's move pool. Is poison weak to fighting? Would Golbat take neutral damage from Force Palm? Um, I think Golbat resists Gol Force Palm. Well, I guess we'll just quick attack then. Yeah, I mean, that'll still get your, your stat ups. Air Cutter isn't scary because you're not weak to it. But, oh! <laughs> heal. Don't worry. Critical hit air cut on the other hand is scary. <laughs> uh, if we could attack gold back, goes down, but you know what? Yeah, let's be safe. Let's be safe because you're still gonna get hit with the bronze ore. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Munchlax. You finally Freaking did something. Thank no one. Alright, might as well just sword dance again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is... the problem with the Munchlax is that it knows, like, Stockpile, Swallow, Screech, and Body Slam. Why the fuck is Perugly faster than Pubby? Hello? Perugly is fucked up. Like, I'm so glad it went for the Munchlax, considering the crit. God, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Hey, Nolan, are you got There you go, the Yeetle enters the field. <laughs> Boy. My favorite lad. Good going, Cross. <laughs> I must go, my people need me. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty clean sweep of Mars and Jupiter. Set up puppies the way to go. <laughs> it was clean as long as you don't look at Nolan. Look, Nolan was our moral support. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stockpile twice in a row. Oh, thanks for the full heal, Nolan. <laughs> oh, thank God. Bye. Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now, all will end and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. What? He has two red chains? <laughs> I didn't know that happened. He's talented like this. I command that you unleash your power for me. What the heck? An amination. <laughs> Anim animation. The Helga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. And the other. Palkia, <laughs> the mythical Pokemon and the master of space and dimensions. He couldn't remember for a second. He, he rehearsed the speech so much and he's choking Pol at the most important time. God, this is actually the fucking cool as shit. Literally, this is great. Pilot has the coolest shit in it. Why would you want to play any other version of Gen 4? Right! I play Diamond. Yo, <laughs> I mean, I play Diamond too, but that's because Platinum didn't exist back then. Yeah. I... Okay, I don't think Palkia is really benefiting from this as much as the Alga is. He looks kind of like a crab. <laughs> crab <God>. Kia! <laughs> Still better than the, uh... The new design. Oh, definitely. <laughs> the new design is funny. The new designs are weird because it's like a weird mashup of Arceus and these guys. And it doesn't work. <laughs> I've waited what so long for this moment. Arms? Why did they why did they make him a centaur? Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Dialga and Palkia. Shaving this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very what on earth is going on with the text box? It's like doing a weird fade in thing. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it looks cool. Maybe reality's just breaking down a bit. Maybe, who knows. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. 
I feel like that fade is not intentional, but it's very thematic. I think DS Mune has a tummy ache. I mean, do you see what's on screen? I don't blame it. <laughs> the incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I'm resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. I'm wiping your save file, small child. <laughs> it is all for making the ultimate world. A world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. Alright, cutscene time. <laughs> the scene is like a lot more complicated than it was in the last version. Yeah. Like, you know your DS was struggling to handle this back in the day. The slight to DS on fire. Oh, absolutely. Remember, the thing below Allison here is actually the top screen. Oh, yeah. I should have expected as much. Uxi, the being of knowledge. Azel, the being of willpower. And Mesfrit, the being of emotion. Small children, I know you forgot these guys' names, so here's your recap. <laughs> Here's your cool fun lore dump. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh? Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both of them are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Rachel, can I finally fucking shut up? Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's not gonna shut up. I need you to know this. You've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away. From you! From your Pokémon! From your mom, too! Cause she's still- cause she's in this game. Yeah, your mom! It is time! My dream will be my reality! What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged? Yeah, it turns out when you bring two gods into the same space, you end up bringing their uh, older brother. Worm. <laughs> the worm approaches. Interesting. <laughs> Also, I swear, I was about to make a joke that this is secretly what Mimikyu looks like under the hood. <laughs> it's, it's just Giratina. Every, underneath every Mimikyu is Giratina. I mean, frankly, I would buy it if you told me that Mimikyu was actually from the Distortion world. I mean, yeah. Interesting. So, there is a Pokémon that can only appear as a shadow. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I've harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. Oh my god, Giratina's about to fucking chomp him. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> that looks right. Oh, that's not supposed to look like that! <laughs> <laughs> what the Oh, yo. <laughs> no. What? what is this unrendered texture I see? They forgot to put the transparency filter on. <laughs> the everybody has a tummy ache. They just kind of slapped the image above, like, where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be underneath that layer. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokémon that appeared at the same time. A Pokémon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but also one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina! Yay! It's said to lurk in Yay. another world. A world on the opposite side of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. Oh shit, they are. They are! It did that when Giratina appeared. It's like the coolest fucking small detail in that cutscene. God, it's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? 
we have to chase Cyrus. No, I'd like to... Yeah, sure. Because fun fact, you can just say no and descend the mountain real quick to get materials. Alright, everyone. Time to see the big platinum moment. This place. Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Oh, cool. I get to save on the repels. Time isn't flowing and space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. A space one might call the distortion world. Let's find Giratina. We need it to stop the spreading distortion of the spear pillar. That was... Giratina. We have to hurry. If something's not done, the distortion will solve not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. God. This is a really fun thing they did. It... It's so cool. It's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. If only this movie wasn't uh, struggling. Yeah, it's gotta render a lot. The floating pillars, the, uh, the gif in the background. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's a lot more things to render. <laughs> the distortion world's fucking huge, and it's like all on the same map. Oh, hey, DPD lover. Ah, yeah, welcome to the stream. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> that would be me. Ah. Oh my god, that is, uh... Oh, that, 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 that's an assault on the eyes. <laughs> A little bit. Ooh. Ooh, that is doing something. So, are there, like, any items I can miss here in the Distortion world? I don't think so. I believe this is entirely an atmospheric... zone. The legend of Giratina has been all but forgotten, but to a few. The legend told of a world on the other side of ours. This world. Why does this world exist? Why is Giratina here all alone? There's so much that can't be explained, but we have things to do. That's what up. We have to find the right way. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that Pokemon is not meant to be Pokemon is not meant to be isometric. <laughs> perspective hurt. What a fascinating zone they've made, though. Is God, I fucking love the distortion world. It's like so much. <laughs> Playing this on actual hardware like blew my mind. Yeah, I bet. Now the important question is, have I ended up going in a huge circle? Because I feel like I have. Perhaps. Given the nature of the beast. Entirely likely. Alright, so not that one, but can I bring this one to the left? Cool, and away we go. <laughs> You're on an adventure. I'm on a very messy adventure at yes frame rates. <laughs> there are indeed frames being rendered right now. There are. Not enough of them, but, you know, they're there. <laughs> you can you can count the number of frames currently happening. It's lovely. Uh. Oh, the shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? <laughs> <laughs> you, most likely a 12-year-old, playing this game. 
<laughs> it's the Metal Gear. <laughs> this is a fucking Metal Gear conversation. Let's talk about dominant and recessive genes right now. Yeah, I don't understand what genes are, please. No, of course you wouldn't. You're 12. Genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in the DNA strand. <laughs> The DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a spiral. If one of the chains were to be broken, the other could replicate it. One or the other cannot exist without its opposite. Do you understand where I'm going with this? Because this will be on the test. This will be on the test. This is a bizarre world. Time doesn't flow, space isn't stable, only that shadowy Pokémon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world. Our world I wish to change. It is like the two chains composing a strand of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain in existence. Without the one, the other cannot exist. The shadowy Pokémon must play a role in keeping the worlds in balance. That is why it must have interfered and brought me here. The shadowy Pokémon must have made this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that's all irrelevant. What matters is the feeding that Pokémon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world will be able to revert to its original state. Thanks, dude. I wonder what would have happened if you said yes when he asked you if you understand genes. <laughs> he would have given you a less, like, baby's first genetics conversation, um, but he would have still talked about it. <laughs> I love it. God. Pokemon was not meant to be isometric. <laughs> get punked. <laughs> exactly. You just, you just got owned. <laughs> you just got coconut mauled. Come on, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> this place is so rude. It is. It is. You're, you're in Pokemon hell. Yeah. Down and 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 down. And all of this is still being rendered. Yeah. <laughs> it is it is all one map. <laughs> hey, do you have strength equipped? Here's a boulder. <laughs> you don't have strength in here, you're like Ooh. I mean you can't get up here without strength. It's literally impossible. Can I just shove it through the hole? Yes. Nice. Lovely. All right, so let's see. Down then? I guess this technically counts as a separate room, because otherwise strength should have stayed here. Yeah, it does, like, pass you through a small load zone. Um, but it is technically one area. Yeah. Hey, Cynthia. It's a giant puzzle. <laughs> I'd love to imagine the Poke Devil just kind of walking around thinking, Oh, this will be stimulating for the small children that will appear. <laughs> and they were right. They were. <laughs> Everybody loves the distortion world. Yeah, I assume I need to actually use the surf area as Poke Santa showed us. Yeah. Well, anyway. Man, my fucking proprietary Nintendo hardware is kind of struggling here. <laughs> You're totally legitimate DS Lite. <laughs> Your DS Lite is just on fire currently, don't worry about it. Oh right, there is a method to which- to where you put that boulder. Yeah, presumably I can shove it in directions that aren't really intended. 
Hello, hello, small Pokemon. <laughs> yes, I understand. I should... Question mark. Perhaps I can never remember who the spirit Pokemon are. They're all like the same Pokemon to me. They are. That's, that's why you give that exposition about which one's which earlier. <laughs> so it's not a good exposition, dumb, because it doesn't actually tell you which one is which. Nope. Oh, I guess we're going up now. Oh. <laughs> This is life. This is our life now. Congratulations. What the hell? <laughs> Welcome hey. to Distortion. Hey, Garatina. That looks right. <laughs> it's so hard to tell, like... Like, this area is so complicated, it's actually kind of hard to tell what's supposed to be here and what isn't. Uh, okay, well that's just rude, game. Come on. So if we go around this way... And then we go down this way... Then we'll finally work our way back to here. Hey, Cyrus! <laughs> throw something at him right now! I don't have rock throw. Oog. Okay, yeah, there's definitely, like, some nonsense going on with the emulators not handling here. Doing its best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Struggled on that one. Chunky. Chunky. <laughs> Alright, so this should take us back down to Cyrus. So that you can beat him up. Hey, a blue-haired troll doll. <laughs> like, it's cool, but this is such a zone. It's the most zone. Ooh, we're back to being isometric again. <laughs> You're on the wall, babe! Ooh, that is... <laughs> Love what they did to the place. <laughs> I don't have waterfall game. You don't, but it's like going down, technically. The <laughs> thing is, is that you can actually go down waterfalls without waterfall, you just can't go up them. This is a very slow way down. <laughs> it is. You're fighting against the current to go down. You are. So reasonably, you should need to use waterfall then. No. Don't worry about it. Hey, Azel. Just, just don't think too much about it. <laughs> Can you believe we've only been streaming for 70 minutes? <laughs> we're, we've done a lot today. We have. Okay, so we, theoretically... We've gone to hell. So theoretically now I can just go straight down. Yeah, and there's there's a method to where you put the, the strength boulders. Right. Cause like it seems to me like we should just shove the boulders into all three of the holes, but there's a lot of holes. Yeah, there there's many holes. And if I do this wrong, I gotta go collect all the boulders again. Uh-huh. So what's the method? Uh the lake spirits are helping you. Oh. Well, that's actually pretty simple then. <laughs> yeah, this is like a child puzzle. Yeah, but still. Like asking to get. It's like asking to get annoyed. Yeah, no, you can go around here for a good long while if you aren't paying attention. Yeah. Alright. What has this done for me? I'm not sure. It's...
Thank you. <laughs> it has spawned a silly fun platform for you. It has. Well. Okay. Now we need to actually think, because this should yeah. be the this is the encounter. All right, we have five options for who to lead with, and unfortunately, we've already got discount hymns, so we're down to four options. Yeah. So here's the thing: Cyrus has a crowbat. On top of having Haunch Crow. Will Cyrus lead with the Crowbat? Um, let me check. Let me check his Pokemon. He probably has Crowbat, Haunch Crow, and Houndoom, if I'm guessing. I think he's probably gonna lead with Houndoom. Alright, well in that case, Goops, let's give him hell. And his Crobat doesn't know any dark type moves, so Himst should be fine against it. Yeah. Why should I run and hide from the world and have to wait quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made complete. Buddy, this is like some top tier baby's first nihilism. <laughs> To be fair, he's only like 27. Top tier, baby's first nihilism. <laughs> he is a baby. How is he only Amazing. 27? I don't know, it's fucked up. This man is 80 years old. <laughs> Alright, Goops. You've got this. What the fuck is that? It's Dark Pulse. Nasty. <laughs> Come on, give me what we need. Goop sweep, no. No. Uh, that was 72 damage. Yeah, that's a little scary. We are in crit range, but like... That was Dark Pulse. I don't think we have anyone else we can like afford to send is the problem. No, he's got coverage on everyone else. You gotta... Alright, Goops. Let's do it! Manifesting it. Please. <sighs> Thank you, Goops! That was 76. Damage range sure is. Damage range is so silly and funny. Gyarados? Yeah... What do we have against Gyarados? Water flying. Yeah, and this is a Gyarados with Waterfall, Ice Fang, Earthquake, and Giga Impact. Wish I taught Puppy Fire. Wish I taught Puppy Ice Thunder Punch. The Earthquake would have killed him instantly. Hemp's then? Um, probably. He's probably the only one who can tank a hit. At the very least, he doesn't have it. At the very least, Hems doesn't have any weaknesses to this. Yeah. Holy shit, Cyrus has five Pokemon. Cyrus, uh, scary. But hey, Gyarados is intimidated. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is good sometimes. I guess we've just got to psychic our way to victory then, because Magical Leaf is neutral. Yeah. Alright. This is the scary one. They're all the scary one, babe. Yes, but Gyarados is the one we're least prepared for. Oh. And that was a crit. Alright, let's see what Waterfall does. It is Intimidated. Okay, it that was like- Oh, thank god. Intimidate like... does so much for you here. You bitch. To be fair, you got the special defense drop. Oh, oh, I forgot the AI does that! Ah, that's annoying. Alright, Puppy, you're our best bet. Oh, uh, this Haunch Crow does know a fire type move, I think. We don't so... have a choice, though, because the only other option is Goops, and Goops isn't healed from the last encounter. 
Come oh. on, puppy. Ah, uh, we're gonna need two of these. If it's using drill pack, I think we're safe. Yeah, you know what? If it's being... Oh. I think we have to risk it as a thing, right? Um... Yeah, I'm... As long as you're not speed tied... And Aura Sphere never misses... Um... Tubby, pull it out for us! Come on... Yes! <sighs> okay... Yippee! Tubby did his best. Ugh! And a crit for good I luck. Can't crit now! Why couldn't you crit <laughs> one turn ago? Alright, back to Gyarados. Okay. Hims can for sure take this thing out. That intimidated idiot. Alright, one psychic should do it. All right, Weavile. Weavile knows Night Slash, Ice Punch, X Scissor, and Fake Out. Tubby then? Like, we'll have to heal him, but fighting type. We'll have to heal, but it's gonna go for Fake Out turn one anyways, so... Cool. Hey, Gorpez! Hey, Gorpez! We're having a fight against the final boss. <laughs> We're not. We're not. This, are... this is nothing compared to what Cynthia's gonna do to you. Yeah, but we'll be set up for Cynthia. We can hope. Are you kidding me? Of course it quits the fucking fake out. Come on now. Alright, Aura Sphere. Steel type, idiot. <laughs> You're quad weak. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Gorpez. This is a pretty tense battle, but I think we're gonna pull out. But I think we're gonna be good. I think we've got the real scary ones out of the way. God, could you imagine if we did this with a set battle style? So fuck that. No. No, we are not doing set battle style on Platinum. <laughs> I'm a coward, I play on Switch, and that's very cool of me. Hello, Dragon Pulse? That's something. 90 power, dragon type move? Honestly, it might be worth getting rid of Force Palm for that. Yeah, the problem with getting rid of Force Palm is it means we're stuck to quick attack if we Swords Dance. Mm, right, right, right. Oh, that's a big question. Uh, you know what? We're going to redo Puppy's moveset later. Let's switch it out. I'll get that, that sick dragon coverage while we can. Yeah. Because we're going to be teaching probably a lot of the elemental attacks later. Alright, Crobat. We're going to have... It doesn't know anything that can harm him in any way that matters. The scariest thing is that it has toxic. Well, in that case, let's just psychic this guy away. Cross poison. Cross poison. Nothing. <laughs> like, definitely Nothing. heal after Fuck this you. if Crobat manages the tank, but I don't think he will. Yeah, no. Alright, that is Cyrus <gasps> down. That was dangerous. Yeah, it sure was. Ugh. We were, like, so close to losing Puppy. <laughs> Which would have been really bad since Puppy is like our solution to Cynthia. <laughs> Puppy is all we have in this cruel, cruel world. God, look at that fucking team lineup. Oog. Oog. We beat Cyrus with three Pokemon. <laughs> Don't think you can defeat to capture that Pokemon. 
This bizarre world is none other than that Pokemon itself. Capturing it or defeating it will make this world disappear. Very well. Do what you will. Rather than repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it. You inherit my legacy. You're just as bad as I am. <laughs> Alright. I'm sure this is a very big speech, but we've already decided on when Cyrus gets to do this. Alright. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. I didn't want to go through those healing items. <laughs> oh, hey, Blade Pug. Welcome to the chat. We just beat Cyrus. No deaths, thank God. Yeah, that was, like, real touch and go, but we did it. We, we definitely got lucky with some of those damage rolls. Yeah, like, if, uh... Yeah, if that fucking Haunch Grow had high rolled twice... Or even if it had just decided to use the fire move it had. Yeah. Alright. Alright. You know what, I think for posterity, Puppy, you should get to go up front. <laughs> you did so much this time. Oh wait, it's gotta be in the Pokeballs thing. Alright. Let's do this. Puppy, you get to meet... You get to meet God. <laughs> Beautiful. God, this is incredibly hype, actually. <laughs> Once again, Platinum's the only fucking way you should be playing Gen 4. It's superior in every fucking way. Absolutely. Giratina is quietly eyeing Rachel. Well, let's do this. The Distortion World's Giratina appeared. Is this the only time you hear this track? Um, I believe so, yeah. This is Giratina's special track. It sounds cool as shit. It's real good. Also, how do we luck into Giratina being the exact same level as Pubby? <laughs> how on earth did that line up? Because Pubby's our highest level right now. God, extremely lucky. Alright. Welcome to the team, Giratina. <laughs> and that is our Distortion World capture, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we're not fucking fighting that thing. No, are you kidding me? That's a legendary. <laughs> It was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the distortion world. Ghost Dragon! Oh man. Pubby ha Pubby only had Dragon Pulse against that. Yeah. I didn't realize Giratina was ghost type. Is that only when it's holding the orb in the regular world? Um, I don't know. Giratina's not a Pokemon I use ever. Yeah, we don't want to fight Santa. Alright. Now I will note for everyone in the chat, we don't have a we don't have a specific restriction on using the legendary in this game, because A, it's platinum, and B, still. <laughs> but I will say that we won't use Giratina unless we really need to patch a hole in the team. Like losing two Pokemon. Giratina is the emergency. Whoopsie doodle, we've got no one to fight the Elite Four with, Pokemon. Oh no. Alright, so we've got Gorpez weighing in on the name. Everyone else, what do you think we should name uh, Pokey Satan? <laughs> Gerald's funny. Ah yes, my favorite Pokemon, Gerald. Destroy our <laughs> worlds. Wait, please tell me you have space for this. 
No, definitely not. What were you trying to spell here? I was gonna say Dark Lord Gerald, but no, way, t way too many characters. Mm -mm, babe, we come on. I know, I know. We could, we could fit in Dark Lord He. <laughs> All right, here's Gerald the Giratina. Silly, funny friend. We're gonna have to take a look at that guy. We're not gonna use him yet, but like. Definitely. <laughs> You're doing so means this irrational world will remain in existence. Ah, sorry, Blade Pug. Oh, late to the draw there. Yeah. Platinum is wonderful for just sending this ten-year-old to hell. <laughs> Remember, kids, if you do Nuzlocks, you go to hell before you die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. I love how Cyrus came back, because he very clearly stormed off all cool-like, but then had no idea where to go to get out of here. Oh, nothing. God, that Cyrus fight was scary. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You know what's worse? What? We have Volkner and Cynthia coming up. Yeah, yeah. fuck Volkner. I hate Volkner. I, I want to beat up Volkner with my own two hands. Yeah, Lou, if you'd be so kind as to look at Volkner's team and moveset for Platinum, you'll understand why we are so scared of this man. <laughs> Fair enough. This is, like, he is not a gym leader you go against without a plan. I lost two of my Pokemon to fucking Volkner in my Platinum run. Fuck that guy. Damn. Wait, Gorpez, do you mean Naruto's dad is the god of Pokemon? No, Volkner looks like Naruto's dad. Ah, right. Yes, he does. Their designs are identical. <laughs> Pretty much. I love it. Alright. Well, I guess we're just gonna let Cyrus walk off. He's literally gonna be stuck here forever. He li Yeah, he literally just stomped off into the distortion world. Yeah, no, his, his canon ending is that he's stuck here forever. I think it would be immensely funny if at some point we deal with the distortion world again in a Pokemon game and Cyrus just comes out. <laughs> he's actually just a Pokemon professor in a new game. Nice. <laughs> he's, he's become normal. Send off Spring. Yeah, it's really cool because you pop out of the distortion world into an area that's known for, like, housing spirits of the dead. Yeah, it's Fucking very fun. Rules. I guess we get to go see Oak, and look, Cynthia's blocking the way so we can't just go back in. <laughs> She's telling you that you are 10 and that you need to go home. Let me see, is this like a new area for us? Yeah, Send Off Spring is, I'm pretty sure, completely, yeah, unique. It's unique zone. Yeah, Spring Path. Which is distinct. Yeah, the fourth lake of Sinnoh that was kept secret, which is distinct from Route 214. So we do get a catch here. The question is, uh, who do we use to facilitate the catch? Goops? Yeah, probably Goops. Oh boy. I love her just immediately back to Happy Go Lucky. It... <laughs> the tonal dissonance in Platinum is you. some of the worst. B Barrel! <laughs> Doop Claws, we have Bidoof. Oh, damn. Also, you. Also, got Geo, dude. Uh, you know what? I'm not even fucking risking that one. <laughs> Those things no self-destruct. 
They sure do. I love this second pier that's here for some reason. Just in case you want to, like, sit and look at the water. Is there, like, anything we can catch here in Sindalf Spring? I'm checking it. Keep a barrel again. Do we... It might not be anything we can catch here. Why is the... why have you forsaken me? It's, like, straight up not telling... Oh, okay. Hang on. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, you've got a small chance at a dust clops, but otherwise it's all dupes. Like, that is not even worth it, honestly, because we don't <laughs> have the way to evolve dust clops. Just bee barrels and growlers as far as the eye can see. Alright. But yeah, how do we get the Gressuous Orb? Um, I believe you need to, like loop back? Like, I think she's guarding the cave where you can get it. Ah. Well, here he is. Gerald. <laughs> Gerald, He's right next to Polaris and Jingles. In summary, Adamant Nature 127, 122, 112, and Pressure. I mean, it is a Legendary, so of course it's got good stats. <laughs> ah, the Grassless Orb is post-game. We gotta beat Cynthia first. What a... Jesus Christ, this moveset. Yeah, Giratina's scary if you fight it legit. Ominous Wind, Ancient Power. Both of two Omnis boosts? Not to mention Dragon Claw and fucking Shadow Force. This is the ghost version of Fly, and it's even stronger than Fly. Or Dig. No, wait, yeah. why? Like, why is this 120 power? Because, like, only Giratina knows it. Weird. Like, I guess that's Giratina's unique move? I swear... Right, because I guess it's Phantom Force normally. Yeah, this is Giratina's signature move, which is why it's so fucked up. That would explain some things. Gotta be honest, I'm pretty sure that's better than Dialga's hy than Dialga's special hyper beam. All right, that is God. <laughs> like I'm not I'm not going to touch Gerald yet, but man, this guy would be such an add to the team. Gerald is a post Volkner look. Yeah, I think we can keep- I think we can get rid of Ringo, though. Yeah, it's, it's a straight shot to Sunny Shore. Alright, well, let's talk to Oak, see what he has to say, and then we'll probably call it, because, uh... Sure, only, uh, only an hour and a half, but this is a really late stream, and also that was stressful as hell. <laughs> Rachel needs to go way down after that. I do. Yeah, this Nuzlocke is taking, like, a lot of time, real-life-wise. <laughs> Mostly because I- my world. Mostly because I keep taking breaks. You're doing better than me. It took me, like, two years to get through Emerald. Jeez. It helps that we are, in fact, streaming this. Yeah. Keeps me focused. Corpa's sobbing, crying in the chat. Yeah, sorry, Corp, but uh, unfortunately, we had a late stream, and I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting Volkner without having a whole maxed out party. Are you kidding me? Be fair. Would you be up for just doing the route to Sunny Shore? Because I think there is something. Yeah, sure, we can do that. But no, yeah, like. Talking about some complete nonsense, Volkner has probably the scariest team before Cynthia. Yeah, Volkner will just kill you. He's got four Pokémon, and like, he has he has a Luxray that knows every bite move, every Fang, mm -hmm. which means he has absurd elemental coverage between Fire, Thunder, Ice, and Dark. 
<laughs> His fucking Electabuzz is the same. Except, of course, that's the punches. Like, God, I'm literally- I'm literally going to fucking s I'm literally going to grab a screenshot and discuss what our plans are for this guy. Cause like, uh, this is the kind of guy you go into with a plan, or you come out of with six corpses. Yeah, and even if you go in with a plan, RNG can decide to kill you so much. Yeah, like, I don't want to use Setup Puppy if I can avoid it, because that's putting Puppy at absurd risk when he's already our- when that's already our solution to Cynthia. Oh, yeah. But, like, genuinely might be one of the best options simply because of Steel Typing. <laughs> okay, don't worry, Gorpez is gonna tactical strike the Sunny Shore Gym. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Candace is pretty scary, but we had a Hound Doom. Yeah, without a fire type, Candace uh, is quite scary. With a fire type, she's a joke. With a fire type who specifically knows a uh, faint attack, the dark type move that can't miss. We also got lucky with her not omni boosting. Yeah. All right, let's check the route. I'm assuming we're not going to find what. I mean, if we find wild electric types, it's not like we don't have a ground type. Yeah, I believe there is one um, Electabuzz in this area. I know because I caught one. Ooh, Magnemite! Well, there they are. <laughs> Let's get... Alright, everyone. <laughs> Say hello to Koo. No! Reborn! <laughs> He's returned to us. Koo, who was last wiped out at Elise's gym in my in my black nuz in my black two nuzlocke. <laughs> also, yeah, Blade Pug, the, the the platinum soundtrack is like awesome. It's so cool. Here's Koo. Ko. I'm not sure how how to pronounce it actually. <laughs> We're all trying our best. Yeah, technically the better, pe technically the best character to give that name to is. Oh come on, we could have had a Magneton. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate for you. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. Fun fact, Cat. Yeah, the coup in the last run never made it to Magneton. Sure didn't. Yeah, he was, like, so close to becoming Magnezone, too. Just... Oh, shout-out to the Valor Lakefront that is here specifically. <laughs> what is... I guess there isn't a point to being over here. The point is you get to be in beautiful nature. Yeah. Let's just dodge trainers. I don't feel like fighting stuff right now. There's a four store. Here's a small child. <laughs> Little girl, you have no idea what you just did. Go, go with a remoraid. Wait, what's a lighthouse? Uh, there might be a like a fight zone on the speech. Honestly, yeah, I believe that. We are pretty late game at this point. Oh, the Pikachu fan club. <laughs> and the size contest. Uh-huh, yeah. I mean, you could, you could bring Gerald over there, I'm sure you'd win. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, right, we don't have Ringo. I'm assuming we do have to fight this guy specifically to make it there. <laughs> Oh. Well, Gorpez, that's on you. We need to get Sailor Luther. <laughs> Mailing Gorpez chocolate. Alright, so what was the level again? 50? 48? Yeah, 50. 
cool. Gastrodon! <laughs> Gee, I wonder what's about to happen. Children, Sorry. please... For those in the audience, who may be a bit squeamish, please avert your eyes. <laughs> oh right, Volkner is one of those, those gym leaders you gotta track down first. Alright, I guess we can track him down then, just knowing no shot in hell I'm doing his gym right now. Volkner hates doing his job. Ah yes, my favorite. Macho my favorite sailing Pokemon, Machoke. I... Sailing actually have Machoke a lot, I think because it's like humanoid enough to do labor. Yeah. Eh, the cravings... the cravings will get ya. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes your body decides it needs to eat one specific type of food and you just need to live with this. God, Volker has literally the most absurd fucking learn set I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, hey! He hates battling, it's too easy for him. Yeah, he's using a fucking competitive team, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hey look, it's the the clown man, the fire elite four. God. Look, maybe I'll beat him, but oh man, are we going to need to be so fucking specific to not get white like a motherfucker? <laughs> like, I need you to understand, he has two Pokémon who know the elemental punches and bites. Beautiful. Volkner is just desperately waiting for someone to fire him, and no one has. God. Honestly, that is a mood. <laughs> God, alright, let's talk- yeah, let's check out the town. We've gone through literally pokey hell to get here. Sunny Shore's a cool town. It's got like a fun design. I feel like roads made out of solar panels doesn't work. <laughs> Remember how the, the roadblock preventing you from getting in here was that there was a blackout? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Like, can... you could have had any excuse. You could have had any excuse. Maybe they had to redo the solar panel flooring because apparent- because guess what? It's made out of glass. <laughs> could you imagine walking on see-through solar panels? Hell on earth. Why are there so many people in here? This has got to be like... Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, right. Yeah. So fun fact, we technically can use the underground on this totally proprietary hardware, but the only thing we can really do is, uh, look for shards. <laughs> Sunny Shore Market, a selection of the world's- Oh, finally! We can dress these guys up! Hell yeah! Seal Merchant! What the, what do you mean it needs to work a little harder? Does it need to hit 50? <laughs> yeah. It needs to work a little harder, babe. Come on. Fine. If anyone's a hard worker, it's Pubby. He was a last minute addition, like... Yeah, probably level 50. This might be... Yeah, I'm gonna check, because that might be an EV checker. Ah. Uh, well, it's still pretty dumb, but sure. Yeah, it's an EV checker. Alright, so what do we want? Uh... We're gonna have so much fun doing this. <laughs> Obviously, we're gonna want just, like, one of everything, considering it's dirt cheap. They're never gonna let you do this ever again, because people were s do doing too many swear words in their child-friendly game. <laughs> God, it was such a good mechanic, though. 
Like, like genuinely, just disable the ability to see other people's seal layouts. <laughs> oh, it's painted white. Just, the, just make it so you can't see someone else's seal layouts. No, no way. Too much effort. Okay. Who are you? It's Jasmine. Jasmine. Have we seen Jasmine before? No, she's from Johto. Ah. Honestly, I would not put it past this place to have been doing something sketchy last night. <laughs> hmm. Now that I think about it, I wonder where the dev room is. No, wait, it's probably... No, wait, I think we ran into the dev room at some point. I think so. Black and White has my favorite dev room uh, out of all of them, because you could do—they've got a whole building in Castelia. Isn't there also like a ghost in that building? Probably. Oh no, that's Kalos. You're thinking of—you're thinking of Elevator Lady. Ah, uh, yeah. Black and White does have a ghost hanging around. It's just not there. Here we go, Polka Ribbons. What do we get? Oh. <laughs> That's boring. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, hey clown man. Jim, but Volkner isn't here. Hey clown man, why don't you fight him? <laughs> no, no way. I know Volkner is gonna wipe the floor with you, but still. <laughs> No, god, I could not fucking imagine doing a monotype against Volkner in this run. Oh shit, yeah, that is a Snorlax rock. It is, it's so cute. It's adorable. Another Thunderstone? Thunder okay. Thunderstone? wonder what that is. <laughs> it's someone who doesn't want other people talking to them. Oh, definitely. As someone who's really invested in doing their frickin' exercise. Alright. So, is the lighthouse like a battle area? Um... I don't think so. Well, hang on. It might have trainers in it. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's just... It's just there. It's there to be a Johto reference. Ah, uh, of course. Blade Pug, we talked to Jasmine already. <laughs> Honestly, if anyone could beat the if anyone could beat the league, it would be Volkner. Oh yeah. Like, he would still have to contest with Cynthia, who is a, a bitch, but hey. <laughs> we love Cynthia. She could kill everyone so easily. Yeah. Alright. Well, anyway. Uh, there's one more thing we can check before we can call for the day. Oh, nice. That's cute. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it looks a bit fucky, but hey. Yeah, no, that is just straight up Monado. <laughs> Congratulations. It's like so much. But yeah, there's one last thing we can check before I want to call for the day. Oh? Well, obviously, the Safari Zone, because we still haven't used oh, that capture right. yet. Also, I think there's a blue shard in the Safari Zone, but I'm not sure where, and I'd like to get our capture out of the way first. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hop off now, because I need to do a couple things before I get to go to Gary for work. Alright. Yeah, later. Yeah. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. Let's see. Bye. Pro Gunk, Be Barrel, Be Barrel. Wooper. Wooper. <laughs> nah, nothing good there. 
There's definitely interesting things in the Safari Zone. I just don't know if there's anything for us. Yeah, like, because we only get one shot. I want to get something good, you know? Yeah, like, Carnivine might be worth it, but it's just... Tropius is interesting. Oh, later, Blade Pug. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> Alright, doesn't look like there's anything we want to grab, then. Yama's kind of interesting, but I feel like slotting in a bug type this late is asking for trouble. Yeah, it's, it, it sucks that, like... Unfortunately, we've already got, a, like, a, a Quagsire. Yeah, so we can't catch a Whooper. We can't catch a Big Whopper. I mean, yeah, but we do have Gastrodon to fill water ground right now. We can just use Quagsire if something happens to Goops. If anything happens to Goops, I'm gonna cry forever. Yeah. But anyway, I think we're gonna have- I think we're gonna call it here, everyone. This has been fun. A good time. This took years off of Rachel's life. A little bit, yes. It's wonderful. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you all had a lovely time with us here. Wait. Oh. Save, oh, you freaking idiot. Save, let's not do this again. Right, well, I hope everyone had a lovely time here, because we beat the most ridiculous. We beat not something completely ridiculous, but Cyrus is definitely pretty scary. <laughs> I think if Tropius ate meat, it would be very scary, Gorpez. Oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and goodbye. Bye!